Coming up next at the movies, Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy playing a rich kid and a bum who trade places. Oh, you lying, filthy, disgusting creep. Our next film, Trading Places, to my mind, is the funniest film of the year so far. Trading Places stars Eddie Murphy as a street hustler and Dan Aykroyd as a wealthy commodities trader who trade places as part of a cruel bet to see which is more important, heredity or environment. The Three Stooges used to do that all the time, <laughs> that gimmick. Aykroyd works for two very rich brothers who bet each other on whether Aykroyd or Murphy will become different if they take away Aykroyd's money and home and give it all to Murphy. And here's the scene where Murphy is in his new home, which he, as a street hustler, can't believe really belongs to him. I like it, Randy. It's very nice. I like the way you got the marriage and stuff hooked up over there. It's very pretty. I like that. I like that marriage. I don't think he understands, Randolph. Oh, but Marty, I do understand. Uh, I William. Do. Yes. This is your home. Uh-huh. Right. It, it belongs to you. Yeah, all this is mine. I like my home. It's very nice. It has very nice taste in houses. I like Everything it. you see in this room is yours now. Uh-huh. This is my stuff. Your own personal property? Yeah, my own personal You understand? This is mine. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, you know what I like most about my place, Randy? The curtains, man. Look at the curtains. It's beautiful the way I got this place set up, man. This is something else. I like it. The cabinets and whatnot. Beautiful. I suppose uh, you're going to just give me the TV set for free, huh, Randy? That's right. Uh-huh. Everything in here is mine, huh? Oh, I guess the stereo is mine for me, too, huh? Absolutely. This is too much for me, man. You know, I can really dig this, Randy. You know why? This kind of thing happens to me every week. <laughs> Eddie Murphy is just marvelous in this film. He's funny and a fine actor, too. That's important. But his story, and this is the nice part, is only half of this movie. Dan Aykroyd's story is the other half. Those same wealthy brothers arrange for Aykroyd to lose his job, his money, and his reputation, and he winds up being arrested on false charges, and when he gets out of jail, his snooty fiance wants no part of him, especially after a hooker approaches it. Listen, fellow, I swear to you, on my honor, with almighty God as my witness, I am not an angel dust dealer. I've been looking everywhere for you, baby. Listen, Lewis, it's you. I'm hurting, baby. I just need a shot. Jeez. Lewis, who is this person? I've never seen this woman before in my life. Don't say that. Come on, baby. Just a dime bag. Oh, you lying, filthy, disgusting creep. Grand, great, thanks a lot. It was a joke. Your friend said it would get you off. You mean someone told you to do this to me? Yeah, he paid me a hundred bucks, too. Right over there. That was Jamie Lee Curtis as the hooker, and she's been set up to do this, of course, by the brothers. This is an extremely well-made movie, a lot more ambitious than we expect it to be for a comedy. We get the two stories of those transformations, and the picture goes even beyond that. It's a good-looking film, exceptionally well cast, and at the center of it all, Eddie Murphy, who at the age of 22 is now a major star. I think he can do anything in front of a camera. Comedy and serious parts as well. Very special. I'm right with you, Gene. I love this movie. I laughed all the way through it. I Good. thought it was terrific. One of the things I liked best about it was the fact that it goes back to a Hollywood tradition of the 30s and 40s, to pictures right. by people like Frank Capra and Preston right. Sturges, who told stories. And the stories became comic, but they became comic because they had insights into human nature. Yes. And Aykroyd and Murphy here, they're not just playing the shtick that we see on television. Right. They're playing characters and making those characters real. That's a very good point. We're beyond Animal House now. We're beyond beer cans being crushed into people's head, juvenile stuff. Mm -hmm. This is well-made adult comedy filmmaking. Uh, these guys are very good. I want to credit the director, John Landis, who mm -hmm. handles big action scenes very well. He did the Blues Brothers, and he does this film, and he loves big action scenes, and they're fun. It's, it's mounted very well, rather than one of these cheap teenage comedies. He also does a lot of good uh, casting with the smaller roles. Ralph Bellamy, Donna Absolutely. Michi. He had a, Bo Diddley is a uh, pawnbroker in this film. <laughs> Terrific. thought that Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd were very funny in Trading Places. I think it's the funniest film of the year so far.